Uh, I haven't not seen before. I was like, I never heard or seen this girl before. Me either. When I first met her. I love that about me. <laughs> I'll take it. Da, 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 da. Can I Let's go. Yeah, I was like, if we wait another 10, 15 minutes. DJ, yeah, well, you want me to pour you a drink? Yeah, nah, I'll take a, a little a couple of shots. I'll be up at 8 in the morning yeah. tomorrow. We're early, so we're good. I can't wait to see the whole thing. But tomorrow. I don't know. I might have to. I might have to go well, to like the, too. The big Do it. Or the well, Fredo's commentating. One and I have the same. I'm just saying, yo. I was told you that. Tell him. Tell him. I got bigger. I'm gonna bring the. Well, we have to test it after. I'm gonna bring it, but test it. You. I don't know. I just did. I don't know. I just did. So much fans. I don't know. Well, we both have smudges, so we're not. Well, we could just take. No, no, I am. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh my God. I'm about to smudge my lips. I already told her that. Yeah. I'm out like three to six. No, earlier than that. Doors open at six. Oh, yeah. well, yeah, like five, bro. So I can set you up and have everything ready. No, I'm gonna have the setup ready. What time do you are you there? That's what I'm saying. Oh, I'm gonna be there all day. Yeah, so I have the setup ready. Oh, <laughs> that's what I'm trying to get. Oh, so I'm coming bro, like six, two thirty minutes. We're good. Oh, before the first fight. Oh, you mind this, bro? I kind of yeah. waited to that shit too. I, gotta fix I was like, this. I can't both you down. Nah, I was like, yeah, nah, yeah. Did you just? I don't feel bad. Huh? He knows, bro. My social media shit comes first. Hmm. The lifestyle, bro. Damn, who's that? That's how I made a lifestyle. <laughs> Can you speak into the mic? Yeah. Damn, you didn't flip it. Flip what? The Fuck. camera. Hey, you flip the heart. Just turn it. I got you, big daddy. Appreciate you. So it's gonna be me and Wilfredo? What, Ben? Me and Wilfredo? You, Wilfredo, and Randy. I know the boxer. No, no. The Puerto Rican one? The one that was did my last show. He's not Puerto Rican? No, he's Dominican. Oh. He's not Rican? No, I heard it. New York Rican. I'm like, what the fuck is that? Oh shit. You have my phone in you? Yeah, damn, I'm fucking up. You're nervous. I'm so nervous. Are you guys nervous? Or am I? I'm one of the. I'm just trying to make drinks. I'm not fucking natural. Feel my heart. Feel my heart. Someone feel it. Oh my god. Feel this shit. Just put it on the mic. No, it's other. Right there. Right here. Oh shit, my buddy. He's like, I just want to feel it. Right? I no, I wanted to make sure. No. Hey, <laughs> I wanted to make sure and I was like three, two, one. Okay. Can you it's Fidel's it? intro for the Can first time. You guys even hear me? Yeah. Alright, good. We changed the wire. That, if that's why you're asking. Yeah. What is it? Episode wait, what episode is this? Two. Two? No? Yes. Three. Three, three, yeah. Two. Three. Oh, yeah, two, two, not two. Posting two. You can't drop it. Um three, two, one. Welcome to another week of thinking with Six Head. This is our season two. Um, episode two and a half, and a half. Uh, episode two and a half. We had we ran into some troubles, but um, only clips, yeah. only clips. Welcome to one of the greatest podcasts where you hear both sides. This before we were talking, we were getting into energy, so I can't wait for this episode. Um, to my right, who do I got? I'm not introducing you. You introduce yourself. King Rivera. King Rivera. Inspire and motivate right here, Mr. Dominican John. My name is Jilly. And she's our guest today. <laughs> yeah, so I want to get back into that energy now that you're here too. And we're going to get real deep all over again. Because before this, we definitely did a nice little meditation. And I want to know how you guys feel after that. I feel great. I feel the same, but I told you my energy's been high. I need to turn up a little so bit I more. Feel, I feel like I'm, I'm good. Mm -hmm. So I, maybe it went higher, but I wouldn't notice a difference because it's been so. Did it bring you more present? Or was um, it? You know what though? What? My headache's gone. Good. So hey, I did have a headache. Okay. That's crazy. We love None that. We that. love that. We love that. Um. So now you wasn't here. How's your energy today? Energy's good. I did. did you said you had a stressful I day. Did, I did a few deep breaths with her before. Oh we yeah? On. yeah. Yeah. So I'm good. I'm chill. I'm calm. Calm, cool, collected. Can you take the shades yeah. off so we could see that? Negative. No, no, just so we could see the eyes real quick. Just so we man hasn't been sleeping. He's been working, bro. Oh, all right, all Come right, on, man. Don't give him the black eyes out here. All right. Um. Yeah, energy. Why? Why are you so into that? Um. So I feel like I don't know. The more that I align with my energy and understand my energy, I feel like I start to bring more opportunity that like aligns with what I want to be and who I want to be. And that doesn't come from just, you know, sitting, doing nothing. And the more that I practice. Were you once sitting there doing nothing? Hell yeah. 
I was always in my thoughts, you know, I think, think, think of what I want to do, what I want to do, but, like, was I taking action all the time? No, I wasn't, until finally it's, like, I have to take the action. No one else is going to do it for me. It's me. So are you going to do that, or are you going to, like, sit there and watch other people do it while you miss out, you know? So are you religious, or is this energy thing just a spiritual energy thing? Um, I'm not religious. I've been, like, definitely being more in, I don't know, like, learning more about God, but I wouldn't say I'm religious. I'm more, like, spiritual and just, like, understanding who I am. Like, we are all one. Like, we are all the same. There's no difference in any of us. Hood dudes say we bleed the same after they kill somebody, but I don't like to keep that (laughs) energy up, you know what I'm saying? It's it's a a whole different slogan in a different, you know, world that they live in. I also think really deep into, like, everything in life. Does this keep cutting in and out? I don't know. Or is it this? I gotta hop in there. I, I hear you. Th- I'm close. Yeah. Oh, I have to like get too close. I hear you're fine. I don't know. Okay. Maybe it's the headphones. What were you saying? Um. Oh, I don't know. You said you were getting deep. Oh, do you? So I think I feel like every little thing in my life, like I think really deep into. Like if I drop something on the floor, like I'm like, okay, why did I drop it though? What is that teaching me? Like every little thing is something to me. Like you know. You don't, I don't think, think you don't think that could make you go crazy? Sometimes no. Because I'm understanding, like, I have self-awareness, so it's just, like, I'm always trying to be better because I know who I, like, can be, you know? I don't know. It doesn't just... No, I, I hear you. I hear where you're coming from. I'm just thinking, like, you know, if you drop something and you overthink it, that could just, like... Yeah, you know, I feel you. You know what I'm saying? Like, just yeah. ruin your day just because, why did no. I drop it? But no, I'm not saying like you, but there's people out there that overthink it that well, much. Well, think about it. Think about how you're having a bad day, right? And then your your pant hook gets stuck on something and you get frustrated and, and that like just sets you off. Why would you get frustrated over that? Because it's deeper than that. There's what if more it to it. it doesn't set you off and you're like, fuck it. Then it you happens. didn't react to it and it just doesn't affect you. But sometimes it does. You know how when it's just that little thing that sets you off? And it's like, why would that out of all things set you off? Like you just, you shouldn't even react to it. You keep going. But people react to little things like that. You might not, but you don't realize other people do. Oh, 100%. And at one point, I did. But now it's like, if I'm having a bad day and someone honks at me, I don't have road rage. I'm not going to start flipping someone off. I'm going to, you know, just keep going. And like, oh, okay, they're having a bad day. That doesn't affect me, you know? Like, stuff like that. And having awareness. Is there such thing as too much awareness? I don't know. I don't think so. Too much awareness in one way. In any way. Literally in any way. Awareness, like, could be for anything. I wouldn't say there's too much awareness. I just think uh, not everything is as deep as you may make it. Yeah, but that's what we're talking about. So, right? yeah. yeah, no, no. It's, it's, I wouldn't say there's such thing as too much awareness. It's just something, you know, don't know the balance between being aware and conscious and... Balance is important for sure. Then there's a balance between like, all right, I'm just overthinking this one. So, something like that. Yeah, because I... I, But that again brings in self-awareness of if you're overthinking, it's like, oh, you have the self-awareness to realize you're overthinking. 100%, but sometimes people overthink too much that they just drive themselves crazy, you know? And it's So it's just like... Because I've seen it happen firsthand, and I'm like... Like, I'm talking about it drives people literally insane. Like, Cause they don't under, I feel like people don't really understand, like, their energy truly. And that's where, like, when you start to, I understand my energy. So when I start to, like, bring awareness to other people of, like, just little things, I try to, like, just show, like, I don't know, you're no different than me. The way that that person might have, bought, like, been crazy, they're no different than us, though. They just oh. got, you know, and just they might feel different, and that's why I don't know. Just trying to show everyone, like at the end of the day, we're still all one. And that is, I that's don't know. True. No, that's we're, true. We're talking about self awareness and you know energies. I seen a post that someone shared that may or may not be a little crazy, you know. But I'm gonna go down this list one by one. And I want you guys to like share your opinion on what it says. So, to women who are labeled aggressive, keep being assertive. What do you guys think about that? Men calling these women aggressive. I just think I just think in general, whether you're male or female, closed mouths don't get fed. So go after whatever it is. It doesn't necessarily have to be 
that boyfriend or girlfriend or fucking, you know, something that it, it just could be a job. It, it could be really anything. Closed mouths don't get fed. So keep being assertive no matter what gender you are. But you say you don't like women talking back to you. That's, no, that's no, no, different. No. That's completely different. I said, uh, the, we're comparing calling them aggressive. We're talking about aggressive women. Yeah, aggre- yeah but aggressive women could be a girl just shooting her shot at you because we're not typically known. Okay. Girls are more like, oh, the guy's got to talk to me first. The guy's got to be interested in me first. And you walk by her having no clue that she just wants you to holler at her. And, you know, my thing about it is, you sh- it, it, well, no matter what the gender is, closed mouths don't get fed. I, be assertive. I feel like when you are assertive, it comes with, like, again, the balance of the goodness of, yeah, you're assertive, but it also comes with you are aggressive, like that you're both and you have to have a balance because when you set an assertive person off, they tend to, in a negative way, they have that aggression to them because they're assertive and they have that, like, energy to them already, you know? So, like... It, is it kind of, like, confident and cocky? No, not always. Because people, like, people, you know, you see somebody confident, you're going to see nine out of ten people, like, oh, that dude is cocky. That's a perception of, like, where you're at within yourself. They might just be confident and they know who they are, but maybe someone else is not so confident and they're... Pers- but isn't it the same thing with aggressive? Just because no. you think that's aggressive. Well, for me, confidence shows... Cockiness is like you say that you're better than everybody and you think you're better than everybody and then you actually fucking suck. And people are like, what is this guy talking about? When it's like, I know I'm great, but like you guys are all so great too. And so is everybody else. You know, I'm no better, but I know who I am. But I also see you guys for who you are. And like, I think you guys are great people or else I wouldn't be sitting next to you. So it's like. I think there's a fine line and there's sometimes a uh, outside uh, perception when you don't know somebody when it comes to confidence and cocky. Like, I believe in speak what you seek until you see what you said. And sometimes having that confidence to somebody who's not confident or not used to having confidence can come off as cocky. That's when, what you're, I'm when you're far from it, yeah. you yeah. could be the most humble person, but you're confident in yourself. Like, oh, listen, I'm going to achieve this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to... And to somebody that could be like, yo, he's a cocky little prick. You you ever met somebody that say you just walk in, how oh, he's dressed today. You walk in somewhere. Look at now, I'm being serious. You walk in somewhere, there's gonna be somebody that's be like, oh, this dude is cocky. Overdressed. Oh, yeah, they'd be like, he's cocky. And I was like, just because he walked somewhere. You don't know where he was before. Yeah, I read a book. I read See, a book. No, I think and that's and I'm good not a big. It's like, sh- look how he holds himself. He's not, he looks good. Yeah. Like, he's nicely dressed up, whereas. someone walking in in sweatpants, all not looking good. Well, obviously, you know, so it's like, you have to hold yourself to that standard of what you want people to perceive you as. Are you holding yourself to that standard? Are you, you know, like... There's there's very few books that have caught my attention in my life, and I actually read this one book where this gentleman um, title, said... Title, please. Um, Got him. Damn. Oh, yeah, for real. I, have, I would have to go back to it, and I'd be able to give it to you. Um, but this gentleman had basically said he sat in an airport like a full-time job and watched people getting in and out of the terminals and saw how they were dressed. I feel like I And he saw, like, the successful individuals dressed a certain way. So then he said he started showing up to the airport dressed like them. Like, basically, he was manifesting what he wanted and what he believed in before he even actually, like, getting there. I love that because I do that. He, like, he dressed the part. He dressed just like those people who got off of first class. Because when you dress like that, they... They, people notice and they already know that and they treat you with more respect and they treat you as if you're already that and that's just what it is. You have to hold that frequency before you're going to get it and you're going to receive those things. Think, think about it. As as wonderful of a person as you are and as wonderful of a person as DJ is, let's be real. Let's, if you wore a t-shirt and sweat somewhere, you're just another minority to somebody. They don't know that you have a podcast, that you're successful, 100%. that you're a great dad. Great boyfriend, you know, great entrepreneur over there. Like, DJ might just be a big, scary-ass Dominican to somebody. They don't know that he's really a teddy bear at heart. You know, but had he walked into wherever he walked into in a suit and a tie, he might automatically just get respected off of that alone. 
I wear my sweats everywhere I go. Yeah, if I if I had a choice, I'd wear that too. Yes, every single day. But I mean, as long as you know and you don't care what people think, it's like man. a time and place thing. No, it's like you have yeah. to know when and when and where to turn it on yeah. and off. Because, like balance. I said, if I had the option to, I'd wear sweats all day. Every that's just my comfort. Yeah, but I feel like if you believe strong who you are, then it doesn't really matter. Like, no, it, like it, fat joke. I, I agree. I agree. You know? I believe in strong who. But at the end of the day, when you are a minority. When your yeah. hair is a certain way, when you're tatted, when you're pierced up, you're going to automatically be looked at as somebody like thug. 100%. You might be far from uh, that. 100%. But if you but, walk in that I room. mean, let's believe here. Let me think about it. My chest, my stomach, my ribs, my whole arms, everything is tatted on me. You think somebody who doesn't know me knows that I'm just uh, like an entrepreneur? Keep wearing a turtleneck, boy. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. So if I just wore, walked in with t-shirt and sweatpants... Versus how I'm dressed right now, that's the difference between somebody saying thug and that's the difference between somebody saying, hey, let's uh, have a business meeting. That's funny because I just posted a Facebook post from like, or I'd seen my memories from like five, ten years ago where I was like, uh, I'm a man with no tattoos, no earrings, and something else. And that's how I was raised. And then I realized, I don't think any of that shit matters. If you really think about it, if you don't judge people, it doesn't matter, but if you're on the streets and, like you said, if you see someone tatted up, sleeves, yeah, and but hoodie on, you might be more scared than someone with a suit on. Yeah, but it's just, it's who you are, you know? That doesn't define you. Yeah, no, and it's all about, like, when you're... Our first impression? No, I think I think it's getting less. I think before, back in the days, it was more, you know, oh, he's tatted or whatever, and he, we can't hire him. But now I think it's like... Cooling off. Do you think bit. you think that still applies? It's Let's be some, real. Some, some, I think some. I think I think nowadays some. because jobs fear and cancer. discrimination and lawsuits and stuff like that, they allow it, That's but I true. don't think they necessarily still, over, yeah. still are comfortable uh, with exactly. it. Well, definitely not. I think you said you know, it perfect. That's, I, well, think I think that's just what it comes way down times to. Times are though, like we yeah. are, we do have tattoos so, nowadays. That's just the generation we're in. You have to just. Go with it, and that's like like even the state troopers used to not be able to. It had to be on your stomach, chest, back, somewhere where, like, or they would have to wear long sleeves. They could get no, no, tatted now. even if the long. Now nah, they're allowed to get tat to get tat. Yeah, they're allowed to show up their to arms. A certain point, but the point of me even bringing that up is that it just tells me that you're almost like in fear of getting canceled. You're almost in fear, like you don't necessarily really agree with it. You're still intimidated by it. You're still intimidated when you see somebody come to an interview and they're yatted the fuck up. I had an officer at work at the club with where we used to work, you know, back in the day. And he used to wear the spandex, like, long sleeve arms because he couldn't wear his tattoos. And then as time went by, a couple years later, he goes, oh, yeah, you know, we're, we're good to, you know, show our arms and present ourselves the way we want to present ourselves. Yeah. That's good that over time that, like, a company can change their rules. But it's also, like, why the fuck? Is that even in place to begin yeah. with? I will oh, say, like, what? yeah, that's, exactly I, I mean, why, that's why exactly why I went from torso area to arms after because then I, I already like had I a don't job give by a then. fuck. But I feel honestly. like I wouldn't have had I went arms first instead of like chest, ribs, torso. But, but I will say I've been to like Home Depot and a couple of other locations where like you think someone you know intelligent is gonna come and talk to you, and then these dudes are wearing do rags and wearing their pants down to their knees, and I'm like. This is ridiculous how far we went into accepting everything. Because no, you work at Walmart, like, you work at Sam's Club, and you just do ragging it up while the old ladies ask not? you for the cereal aisle. That's kind of crazy to me. Why not, though? It's like a do rag to work? Who cares? I don't. Why are you judging again? It's not judging. The judgment, you, you're not like, even supposed to wear a hat to work. You're supposed like, to wear the brand not, but name. But again, it's like how you hold yourself. That's how you perceive. So that shows some people. But again, like, fuck, I be. Sometimes I'm not feeling it, and I don't that's care. That's not how it works. Up, when you own a business, you could wear it. You said that's, Walmart. That's, you said Walmart. What? It doesn't matter what it is. Walmart. Yeah, Walmart Walmart. shouldn't like, have people walking around with do-rags. Unless it's a Walmart do-rag that says Walmart on it, nah, then I, I just, guess so. I, it has nothing to do. I, I think mean, it's a I, fashion piece. It, it is, but at the same time. There's no fashion when it comes to work. Place. Because <laughs> the same way I feel about a do-rag on a guy is the same way I feel about a girl going out in the bonnet and like a nightgown. Like, that's crazy. Come on, get yourself together. Like, why? Like, don't go out like that. That's crazy. You were just talking no, about because them. imagine like me showing up to work in a bandana because my hair is a little messy. I still want a bandana. That's the same as a do rag, right? It's a fashion piece. If you have the branded logo of the business, but in a business, you're supposed to wear the shirt, or you're supposed to wear all black or whatever colorways under it, and you only are allowed to wear the logo. 
So if you're wearing a, a snapback or you're wearing a baseball cap or you're wearing See, a do-rag, which is know. even worse, it's so disrespectful to customers and to the business itself. It just looks retarded. Oh, uh, how is that you? word? Can what? you talk about that word real quick? Why? What, what did, did you say? Retarded? Yeah, I don't say that. The R word. Should I not say that? No, I don't say it. What? Like, that's don't fine, but it's just, it? I don't know. Again, like, you know, I don't know. Can we talk about that real quick? Words. You know how labels, right? A word, and it's like, okay, you can't say certain words, and, like, people take offense to words. Mm -hmm. So you s or specifically don't say certain words. Like, how do you feel about that? I feel like women should not be allowed to use the word misogynist. I'm not going to lie. I don't know what that word means. Thank God. We don't got to talk about it. I think I think it's just a time. It's a time. For, I think... Excuse me? Who? <laughs> Why are you saying? <laughs> you forgot his whole mic. There's a time and a place. There's a time and a place for everything. Um, you got you to gotta respect people's feelings, but at the same time, there's a fine line between respecting your feelings and just being like, you're a soft-ass bitch. Yeah, but people <gasps> say things... How dare really? you, sir? <laughs> not realistically, like, not. You can't say soft-ass bitch to people. I don't give a fuck because at the end of the day, like, bro... <laughs> as a business bro, owner? Bro, at the end of the day, bro... Canceled. I'll, no, I'll respect cultures. I'll respect religions. I'll respect your wishes on certain things. But, like, there's a fine line between being, like... All right, he's being respectful of something. And then there's a fine line between, like... You're just doing too much. Okay, I have like a question. Like, people wanting to cancel Dave Chappelle for his last Netflix skit or whatever, it's just dumb to me because... Well, that's the new generation really, that's getting into really, really, the comedy. Exactly. There's a million things to watch on Netflix. There's a million things to watch on TV. Mil stars, Hulu, whatever the fuck you want. And you're mad at what Dave Chappelle said, just don't watch it. Shut the fuck up and don't watch it. It's for a certain Stop generation. It's not... I, I, I like the way you said it, I guess, a little bit, but... If you're a Dave Chappelle fan, you watch Dave Chappelle, you know, series and episodes. If there's a new generation that's on Netflix that doesn't know who Dave Chappelle is and they click it, he's going to get bad reviews. Bro, you can't say stop being a not, soft bitch. They just I, didn't no, expect that. From I, I've always known who Dave Chappelle is. I've never watched him. The only reason yeah, why 30. I watched his skit that everyone was trying to cancel was because I heard so much backlash of it that yeah, I was like of 12 year olds me, and 15 year olds me, that are watching at this age and I'm like man this motherfucker's spitting facts y'all motherfuckers are soft which part all of it all of it was facts the whole thing was facts <laughs> you see you're gonna say what something? was your question after the words sorry I forget anyways <laughs> we're going we're going on after a, that we were talking about do you support Dave Chappelle so I don't know who he is I'm not gonna oh, lie damn, sorry right? Uh, I know, I'd be, like, under you? a rock. I'm not going to lie. She's not that young. Wait, wait, I don't watch do TV like that. I'd be, I, like, I'm on the go. I don't know. I don't. Oh, you're not I done with your know. list? You're not done with your list? No. You want to okay. go to the next one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Two women who are labeled bossy keep on leading. Keep on leading. Yeah, uh, I agree with that. Keep on leading. But I feel like even, I don't care how boss of a woman you are, you still want a man that's more. Of a boss. It's about knowing what you want. It's not bossy. It's knowing what you want. You and I feel like people take knowing what you want the wrong way. Give us an example of knowing what you want that I would call you bossy on. Hmm. Well, I don't know. That's a good thing. It's like, okay, say you worked for me and I want something done a specific way, but then you go and do it like your way. I'm like, I wanted it done my way. But it gets done. Right. So it's like... It's like wearing a do Do we both win or... Without, without the logo. I guess. Or are you going to make me know. redo it because it wasn't I your boss? way? I don't know if I'm even bossy. I'm just taking it as if I'm bossy. Like, I'm like, maybe I'm just bossy, but I don't know if I'm bossy. Like, sometimes I would say I am. I just know what I want. I wouldn't call it bossy. So it's but do you that. want... Do you want to be a boss to your partner or would you want your partner to be? Okay, I guess, I don't know. Like, it's like, if the trash needs to get taken out, just take it out. I don't need to tell you how to do it. Don't I don't care if you pick it up with your left hand or your right hand. Just take it out type of thing. Men have to do that? If I ask for it to be done, if I'm doing everything else. Like well, you can ask nicely, like, right? Hey. Oh, yeah, of course. Oh, okay. But I'm just saying, like, would that be bossy of knowing what I want? I want it out. I don't care how you do it. Why can't you take out the trash? How about if he was like, I want food, though. I want you to cook. Oh, I'd be shoving it up for real, so 
I will. Okay. <laughs> I saw a video. I like to cook. So. I saw a video the other day that uh-huh. said, um, it's two in the morning. Your man wakes you up. He wants you to cook. Would you do it for him? And then I have a follow-up after that. Oh, you want me to answer that? Yeah, this was the start of the video. Two in the morning, your man wakes you up, he wants you to cook. Would you do it for him? Depends the terms we're on. The circumstances. Because I would, yes. Because that's how I'm just a soft-ass lover girl. That's a good good answer just off the bat. But it really, yeah. Because we asked this question and then... Well, after just getting into a huge fight, I no, no, exactly. But that—that's a great point because that—that plays a big factor. Well, no, no. But then homie said, then homie said, okay, it's two in the morning. You heard a noise in the kitchen. Do you expect your man to get up? It depends go, on kind go, of, what go, kind of terms. Go, go check it out, <laughs> yo, yo. So like, out of I think it was like five girls. So five girls had said, like four of the five said no, they are not getting up and cooking for him. And then like the fifth one said like yeah, maybe almost like you. Then he asked the question, same time, you hear a noise in the kitchen, do you expect your man to check it out? And they all said, yeah. And he goes, isn't it funny? Like, you guys demand a provider, you guys demand this out of a man, but when a man demands, you know, the submissiveness out of a woman or the yeah. caretaking or the nurturing <laughs> out of a woman... It's a problem. The y'all. taking the taking out the trash was kind of demanding. I'm not gonna lie. No, that was demanding. I'm not it's gonna not lie. pretty bossy. <laughs> but I'm gonna say she said I don't I'm, care. Left in, right in. I feel in. like in all relationships <laughs> I've been in, I've been the provider. Like I've always like I have a very masculine energy. Like I know how to provide for myself. I've also taken care of fucking I feel like every guy I've been with at this point. So it's like we got her what swearing. Is, guys. What is typically the uh, the ethnicity <laughs> of those relationships? What is typically the ethnicity? Okay, of so this is the this is a thing. So I that know could play a role into the self awareness has come in. So Saying like, white people can't take care of themselves. I never said that. that. I just she said, hasn't even answered. All I said was, "What is typically the ethnicity of those relationships?" I'm that's overplaying my role, and that's my bad. Basically, because yeah, <laughs> my bad. I plead the fifth. So you're not answered the question. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Okay, know. so for what some kind of reason, ethnicity is a fucking bum? No, I'm asking you what, you said? what type of boyfriends have you had? Uh-huh. What is their ethnicity? It doesn't matter the ethnicity, though. Because I've does. been with all different types of people. You have Asian? Someone had an Asian mixed in them, yeah. <laughs> 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 what is that, what is that I'm I'm Asian and black. I think that's a very nice mix. Blasian. Blasian. Anything. I think everything. Like, human <laughs> beings. <laughs> I don't know why that. Humans are just cool, but anyways. No, back to that. I... Well, I, I, I gotta follow. Wait, let her answer the question. She's about to say it. Back to that. I got something. 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 I got to okay. white people. So you said you love humans, like, you know, they're all different. You've been all different. So we're all the so same. So what, what, uh, what do you feel about um, inviting people into the relationships? Into relationships? Like you and your man invite a partner into your nighttime activities. So it crossed my mind one time because I was like, mm, but no, that's not for me. I don't think I could... I know like what type of person I am, so I would never set someone else up for failure. If that's something that someone else wanted, then respectfully, I don't want that. But like, I couldn't do it because I am very possessive. And it's like, maybe that's something I should try because I'm uncomfortable with it. So maybe I should try it for growth, you know. But I don't know. I don't know if I could. But yeah. I feel like I have to now that I don't like that. <laughs> you know, it's like fuck. That, I have that could to break do you it. though. Shit. <laughs> now I got to. Then she's you know. like, I fucking love it. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Anyways, the, for everyone, <laughs> you got the next one. You're still on your list, aren't you? On oh, my list? Yeah, you my bad. <laughs> I didn't hear what you said. I right seen there. a couple. That's what I was like, we got men call them difficult, but women are saying keep telling the truth. I don't even know what that means. I'm not gonna lie. You're skipping right. it. Wait. Yeah, I guess so. Difficult. Nothing. So Men like, call it too much, but women are saying keep taking up space. Yeah, I'm I matter. Though. I don't know. Just be who 
the fuck you are. Because people... What do you get out... When you hear that, what do, what do you... Okay, so I take it personal because I've been called too much. And that was like... One time someone was said I was too much. Like, I don't know what... The, why? Why do they Are you that? naggy as fuck? No, I just think that like... There was something that ticked it off. I... Yeah, and I think Are you sometimes naggy I as bother fuck? naggy. What does that mean? What is the definition of naggy? I think it depends on the are person. Are you naggy? Like, are, are you gonna sit there and nag about everything? Are you gonna sit there? You see him relaxing peacefully on the couch, and you're gonna start complaining about the trash or the dishes or oh, her like, shoes oh, yeah. not oh, so at shoes. the door mm, or no. are his clothes in the. Yeah, Washer I definitely am a nagger dr- sometimes. I'm not going to lie. But I was totally talking about not even a relationship. That's the problem. I've been called too much by, like, someone as a friend. Like, that was a guy. And I took that personal. But why? But, like, as a man in a relationship. That works, too. I know. That's what it right? is. If women are labeled right. too much. But I but think it's us. different because I wasn't, like, in a relationship, if they call me too much, I respect that. Because I know I'm a lot sometimes. Okay. And if you can't handle me, you just can't. Uh, okay, so, but me. as a friend, yeah, if I say friend. you're too much, you kind of had to settle down and fix our little friendship, you know? Yeah, but I feel like that's just like, I don't know. I have no right to say that? It's someone that I didn't really know. He was around me like a couple times and said I was too much. Oh, so do their opinions matter? But again, I was too much back in the day. I drank a lot and I was like kind of under control. So like I see where he's coming from, but I took it personal. But I just took up a lot of space at the time, I guess. Do you forgive (laughs) forgive that person now? (laughs) Of course. I don't don't know. (laughs) I guess it's fine. And the last one is I guess I did. <laughs> to the women who are labeled awkward, keep asking hard questions. No. Hard question make you awkward? Is that what I got? For no, that? it's like who you texting. Like keep asking those questions to the guys. But why? Because you're you're saying we're calling the women awkward. Like you're making this situation awkward. Why are you talking about marriage on the first date? Why are you talking about who oh, I'm texting right shit. now? We just started okay, talking. Nah, that's, that's, that, okay. that's what you guys don't understand. To the woman labeled, meaning we know, are labeling them as awkward. Exactly, but that, you're these, making this these first are, date these mad are awkward. Like, kind of like general questions. What's awkward. your body count on the first date to a guy? You know what I'm saying? Yo, you're being mad awkward right now. And they're saying, keep asking hard imagine questions, numbers, ladies. Say seven. Seven is the magic number? Seven. Stick with seven. What's that? Say seven. Good to know. Not too high. Imagine every date now is like seven. <laughs> not seven. too high, not too low. Seven. This is believable. Oh Stick God. with a seven, you said? Just say seven. What does that mean? Where did you learn that from? If a girl or a guy asks your body count, just say seven. I oh, ask your body count. That okay, if okay. any of you told me seven, though. I got under I seven. Where did you learn that I from? Wouldn't. First of all, mine is less than seven, miss. Wait. That's I first wouldn't of all. believe it. And I will say seven. I don't believe anybody. Just to make it believable. <laughs> yeah? If I say my body count's under seven. seven. If I say my body count's under seven, you won't believe me? Why? Because you look like a Dominican whore. I don't know. I but guess I'm an American. Just, because, again, I'm putting a label on men that shouldn't be involved, and I'm putting you under a category that you, like, of the typical man, and that's wrong of me, so I shouldn't. So what's the, what's if you say it's seven or what's under that seven, typical? yes. You're hold, on, right. hold on, hold on, What's a typical man? I don't know, but, whore. yeah, like, whore. the guys I've been with, I feel like they fuck seven girls while they're with me. So <laughs> never mind the fact that their whole body count all together, you know? So. But we talk about judging and, you know, and on but that, that was, topic. Is that like, was me totally judging and that's so disrespectful. So I'm sorry. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. No, I apologize. I So do you I, believe me now? I do. Oh, yeah. Nice. Self-awareness. Yes, yeah, self-awareness. I'm working on that because it's just like, you know, when you're lied to by men so much, so then you think every man ever just lies to you for no reason or like woman sometimes. I don't do is that. that. Is that Everyone's fair? Different. Is that fair though? That is me reflecting my past and my trauma onto you guys. Which is that is fair for the new people around you? Mm-hmm. No. Fair. Oh, sorry. I thought <laughs> oh. that fear. Hold on. Oh, no. Fair. No, that's not fair, and that's not fair to no self awareness. I gotta be better. Thank you guys for helping me see that. I oh, hundred percent. Appreciate that. Well, you may seem like everybody that tells you that they haven't had sex with a lot of people, you're just like, "Fuck you, liar!" Ask because I'm less than seven. I don't know. What she's like, like, I just, you know. I don't know. Just with men, yeah. I'm just like, "Bro, shut the fuck up!" Like, say mm. it. But you know, like, that's not right. What's your, what's your, what's been your biggest heartbreak? My biggest heartbreak. No, I feel like they're just all hard <laughs> at the time. Was there one? Every relationship. Then, there's there's two that I hold on to for sure. My big, I feel like my biggest heartbreak was definitely recently, but it wasn't like I don't know how to explain it. It wasn't the man itself. It was more like the situation, and everything with it. 
Chiran? Uh-huh. You? Oh. oh, man. <laughs> That's a... Uh, W-O-D. So when you trust, you trust hard, but you don't trust anybody. Yeah, but I over-trust people, for real. I'm really soft, I don't know. I'm like, I fucking hate men, but then it's like, no, I'm such a lover. Like, I really am. So you're easy are you a phone? Manipulated. Are you a phone go through her? I've never gone through a phone. Never? Never. So you're on the right track. I know, but no, I've done other stuff that's wrong, so it's not like What's that makes me going better. Through someone's you know? phone. You've done I've other stuff. What's the other stuff? I've a car before. Oh, yeah, you've what? That'll that's never go back to you. What are you what? Keyed. Keyed a car. Yeah, that's crazy. If I walk it felt out, felt so good too. I was like, Psst. did you write anything on it? Mm-hmm. What'd you Cheater? write? A K plus an M for the initials, and then when he <laughs> it's a whole thing. But then all of a sudden she did it back and she put a J plus an M for the other bitch. On his car? Name. On your car? Her car. His car, the other side. So it was like so both, both sides were keyed up. Were you guys yeah. on the same page? Two different initials. No, nah, we didn't even like each other. Ah. So we were on different pages. But, but then the we same came women. together at once. And when I finally walked away, like we showed up at his house together. And I was like, fuck, now I can finally let go. Is that a women alliance where you guys finally blame the man and don't blame the yeah, other girl? Yeah, that's when I finally was able to let go fully because I felt like that was like really good. But have you learned, like, in the future, now you can just contact the woman and realize it's the man's fault? Yeah. That's what I do. Yeah. I blame the woman. I don't blame the man. 100%. I do definitely blame the man, not the woman, unless she knows she has awareness. That's when it bothers me. Because it's like... You knew. Yeah, you knew. Well, they always know. No, not always. But it's the thing is, it's frustrating because you have awareness, but, I again, it comes back to the man because... You don't know. You have awareness, but they could be telling them anything. Yeah. So they think I'm just. There's some, people out there that live yeah. a double life and shit. People, you know, I don't yeah, understand. There's people out there that be like, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm about to get a divorce, or like me and her are breaking up, and like, yeah, we're still seeing each other, and you see me with her, but it's like we're not together no more. And it's like, why would women actually believe that if like the man's not completely done with the woman? Why would you even give the man a chance? Yeah, I always question that because they, they they fall for like the baby mama. Like I still live with my baby mama, but we're not together. Like that'd how, be happening. I know that's what I'm saying. Nah, but, but how happen- do you fall? No, 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 no. That'd be happening. But you, you yeah, but t- what if they t- do but you, live you with go their baby for that? Mama and they're Bro, saying they times don't. are hard. I'm not saying you go for that, but I'm just saying <laughs> times, times are hard. hard. Sometimes people will stay together because I ain't times going are for hard. that. If I meet a girl and she's like, "Yeah, I still want baby daddy," then I'm not going. Okay. We're not going nowhere. Yeah. All right, what if you and your girl? Question: No baby daddy to begin with. Question: What it? What it? What are you and your girl gonna do if you, God forbid, split up right now? Don't say I go to mom's house. What you mean? Let's say that's not an option. You're saying if you have to get like a whole Let's new apartment and you don't have don't the money for it. I don't even think you should think about that because then that creates it into reality. No, no, just I'm just, I'm not saying think about I'm just saying where are you like going to ever. go? Where are you going to go? Let's just say mom's house is not an option. You don't crash out your boys? So let's just say, yeah, oh, yeah. me and my baby mom are roommates. You don't think that's no, like. No, no. That's definitely not not happen. I'll say like. You don't think if you and God forbid slowly broke up that you guys wouldn't be roommates for a no, while? No, but we broke up for a reason. Okay, you guys broke up relationship wise, but you wouldn't be roommates. No, but I don't believe he's, in that. He's shit. saying there's like a level of respect to not kick you out the house. I don't think that exists when you bro. don't have money. There's gonna and be there's gonna yeah. be a time where you know. So you'd kick her out, or vice versa, she'd nah, kick you. I would never, I would never on the kick circumstances, her. Circumstances, I'll, I'll, I guess. I'll leave. No matter what, I'll leave that situation. And where you gonna go? I'm saying first. You said honestly, first option would be Mama Dukes. I'm not gonna. Yeah, lie. all right, but uh, let's say Mom's not an option. I, I'm asking one of the homies, hey, bro, you know. Is there a problem if I crash? And all, all I would need is a couple weeks, to be honest. That's all, all I would need. Max. The way Worcester is right now, bro. It's, you it's Boston it. prices right now. Yeah, but I, I'm saying. I, Solo dolo. 2000 nah, for but a nothing studio. that God would put in your way, you wouldn't be able to handle, you know? So it's like if that were to ever Amen. happen, it's like that's just going to work out for itself. And that, it doesn't and that's, matter. And that's a good point um, that you bring up because that's what I'm starting to learn recently. It's like um, God takes you the other way sometimes to protect you. Yeah. You know, no, and you don't me. even know until you go through it. Or sometimes you don't even know until like, years later. You look back and you're like, damn, that was the right way. You know, that was, it was supposed to happen that way. Yeah. So. I love that. Yeah, but how many years are you going through the struggle to realize that? Some people Dudes. go through a lot, bro. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, there's no limit, bro. Some people, what's the KFC dude? It takes dude? a while. The KFC dude's Curtis Sanders, whatever his name is. He was like 68 when he finally made it. You know how many struggles he got denied of his chicken, you know, but he made it. You bro. have to get through all the karmic lessons yeah, and the, all the karmic cycles you set up for yourself lessons. by reacting, and you have to get through those lessons and 
I've been repeating the same one of the, my same cycle, and I'm I have awareness of the cycle I'm in, but I don't know the full lesson, and I'm not grasping it, so I'm repeating it, and I have full awareness, and it's frustrating, but I know I'm in it. So it's like, what are new ways that I can do to keep you know get out of it and keep going to be able to like have I don't know. No, that makes elevate sense. out of the cycle to be able to you know raise up and get to the top because like I'm going like this but there's one thing there's that keeps going yeah. like that so there's that, still something you, know, you have to get out of it and I'm I feel it and I know it's there so it's like that's the first step I have awareness so I already feel like I'm like you know doing something here so it's like now how can I get out of that but that's things that like everyone goes through because I could be in this till I'm fucking 30 that's realistically being where the same cycle but then there's cycles that i'm out of that i know like i learned that lesson i can let go of just like sometimes some lessons all you need is one are you in the same cycle no i i was i think but i just said recently bro i think everything manifestation is real you know i always believed in it start to learn your power right yeah yeah i always believed in it but it, Bro, it's starting to happen so much. And it's so a within thing. It's crazy. It's crazy, bro. Like, um, I just did this podcast. Uh, shout out Ponte Pilas. Did I say it right? I don't want to mess it up. Um, where I just talked about it, man. I was I was in Spain, bro. And I told her, I was like, to be honest, I had no reason to be in Spain. I was just swiping without even hesitation. But it's like, um, but I wrote, before I came back, bro, I wrote a number down. I said, yo, this is what I want to be making, you know. And, bro, I came here, bro, and that's the same, the same exact number I wrote down. God bless, that's what I'm making. It's that easy. It's crazy. We overcomplicate it. Exactly. Life People is that do. easy. And sometimes all you have to do is ask. All, everything is all you have to do is ask. Say it out loud. Why, why do you think I'm sitting right here right now? Yeah. Because no. I asked. You asked to be in the Why do you think I was... I ask for people to be, yeah, to surround and be on a podcast with people that are like-minded, and here I am. Yeah, it's crazy. Boxing, I wanted to get that trainer. I've been training. Like, it's that easy. Know what you want, and you get what you want, but people don't know what they want. That's why they don't get it. They're confused. You have any questions? Mm-hmm. Questions? You have your notes? I, I do have questions, actually, because, again, back to the pen and paper. Remember how I came in? You are like, no, it's like, do you guys write your goals? Do you guys sit down with yourself and write what you want in life? And I just, I just started. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Everything changed because I always everything changed. I always seen it like I because I am like a big motivation, but mm-hmm. I, I listen to the big people. You know, like they say that, but I'm like, is that really gonna happen? And you I started do it. doing it, bro. This shit's for real. It's oh, well, writing stuff down. Write it down, manifest bro. Manifest, bro. Like take the change the way you talk too. Like don't say, oh, I wish this. You know. This is gonna happen. Mm-hmm. This is gonna happen. I you, am. Yeah, it's it's, and you you might not know oh, when, but it's gonna happen. Bro, it's yeah. crazy. It's crazy. I am it. a hard working person. Like I know what the end goal is, but I don't look for the end goal. And I don't, you don't have to be hard. Hard. Like, don't be too hard on yourself. Don't set expectations on yourself. Like, I don't have you, expectations either. You can have that. Say like say what you want, but don't say I'm hard working. Like you might not have to do. A, you don't might not have to lift your finger up, but you still deserve that. So know that. Like, know what you want, the end goal. So that's what I'm trying to get. I get to the point where I don't have to lift a finger, but I don't realize where I'm at from where I started. Mm -hmm. And I'm just pushing and pushing and pushing. And then when I wake up one day, I'm like, oh, shit. Six months ago, I just said I wanted to have this many followers and this amount of money and this amount of income. And I don't realize what's going on in my life. Like, I, I think you see my post the other day. I was like, yo, I got multiple incomes coming in out of nowhere. And I didn't know that happened until, like, that. last week. But I've been doing it for a year or two. You know what I'm people saying? People don't have that. Yeah. But, like, you did that. So give yourself a pat on the back and, like, look I don't yourself do in the, the mirror pat, and be pat. proud of yourself. I don't do pat on the back. So I just get back to work. And six months later, I wake up again and realize, oh, look, I'm yeah. six months ahead of what I was doing that, before. That should, that should be a... You should, bro. You should... Uh, but you got to reflect a little. Yeah. 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 yeah, bro. That's important. I feel like people forget that, too. But like speaking sure. about the cycles, like you were saying, like I'm proud of you though. Good for you. I would get, I'll make content for a few months, and I get paid on TikTok, and then like it would die off, and I'll like my vibe is killed, and I don't want to do it anymore. But then YouTube paid me randomly, and I'm like, oh shit, I'm back, Picks and then I up. die off again, and don't want to do it anymore. And then Snapchat pays me, I'm like, oh shit, and I feel mm-hmm. like I'm stuck in a cycle where 
I'm getting rewarded where I want to be rewarded, but like well, I keep quitting and there's a point where like should I just stop now so I don't just wait for that reward or do I just keep working hard for a reward that might not come? Never, because you're looking for instant gratification every single time you do something and that's not realistic. You have to trust the process with what you are and who you are. You know what you are. Speak to him. Speak to him. Because it's like, don't give up. You're And people give up right when they're about to make it. Don't, don't do that to yourself. You're about to fucking go off when you feel like that. So when you're feeling like you're going to give up, no, go harder. Push. Push even harder. Reach out to <laughs> people around you. Just whatever it is, like, push yourself. Bro, I sat in my house for seven hours crying. I don't know how I got to the gym. I had the best workout <laughs> in my life because I pushed myself. You don't, I did, I wanted to give up. If I didn't make it there last day, I probably would have never went back just because that's the thing I would have created for myself. But I was like, you know what? I got it in me. This happened and yesterday? I showed up. Yeah. And then, like, I had the, bro, I felt quick. I was, them punches were coming out quick. I can't do those. Like, <laughs> let's be real. Like, I was feeling nice and I'm slow as fuck. So, like, AJ, it might you, not be you, hard. She but asked shit. you. She asked you. She said, what do you think? About what? Like, if you had to give a grade for a starter, you know, she Two just weeks started. in, female I, boxer. I ain't never, never going to give a grade. I just, like, <laughs> not nah, just because I, I'm always um, supportive of people who want to make lifestyle changes. And um, I know firsthand because I've done it. I lived it my whole life. Um, that's not an easy sport to pick up. You know, you're going to always be able to critique something. So whenever I see somebody just throwing them things, dumping, getting themselves tired and exhausted, I respect it off rip. Because Hell yeah. That's fire. Because my form's trash, I just, but at least I just know, I just know firsthand what it's like. I mean, being in your head, is my foot stance okay? Are my shoulders just, you know, parallel to and each then other? And watch back the are my this? Are my punches turning over? You know, am I throwing fast enough, hard enough? It's just so much in your head, especially when you're a beginner. It's awkward as fuck. Like, and I realized that actually... When I started training people, when I started doing personal training sessions, that's when I realized how awkward boxing is. Because things that had <laughs> came natural to me, because I've been doing it since I was fucking out the womb, I realized, like, wow, this elite NFL player or elite NBA Facts. player doesn't know how to even have a boxing stance or doesn't know how to throw their hand like it, it was my and then I realized like yo this shit is kind of awkward like until you get the hang of it but any person who just does it and goes with it and just pushes them it's it's easily the hardest sport to pick up but it's also one of the best that's why NBA that's players good. NFL players and MLB players they all do the boxing shit in the off season to get them ready for their season it's also a very healthy outlet to like yeah. anger oh, and aggression because that's I didn't realize helped. none of my hereditary, I say hereditary just because, you know, the certain stuff runs in the family, but it could have just been me, who knows, <laughs> whatever. But I didn't realize none of the mental health issues came in until after I was done boxing. That was your leg? That was your... Um, that was my outlet, and it yeah. hit it for so many years, so I had no idea. It wasn't until I was in college. Do you have a new battling, outlet? Battling me versus me. Hold on, do you have a new outlet? Or not yet? Um... Yes and no. Yes, no. I would say yes and no. Important. I would say yes and no. So my new outlet is definitely. Yeah, you do. Look at it, you right now. Yeah, this is I an mean, outlet in a way. That's what I'm saying. So it's yes and no for me. So it's on a day to day basis, as consistent as boxing was, no, because that was every day for a couple hours a day. That's a couple Minimum. hours. That feels good. So I love that feeling. I don't have that because I'm not training anymore. But why? Am I still involved in the sport? Yeah, that's my outlet. But my outlet comes once every what I throw. I do hold a show on. every three, but, four months. Uh, all right. So you so, got to hold on. You got to show tomorrow when you throw your shows. Is there ever a moment you're like, yo, I wish I was there fighting? Yes and no. I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you. Once, once you've done it for real, like I'm not talking about like on some bogus shit. I'm talking about like once you've done it for real, for real. That fire that you have doesn't really ever burn out. It kind of stays there. Like, I'll look at a dude like, man, I'll come out of retirement right now and put the paws on this kid. Like, this kid ain't that good. You know, but realistically, I just, it's a love-hate relationship for me. I saw a lot of bullshit my dad went through. My dad's one of the most upstanding human beings, period. I'm not just saying it because my dad, but just... 
he's one of the most solid human beings, period, that I've ever been around. Like, I've never heard him bad talk anyone. He just won't. It's just not in him. He won't bad talk. And he could be mad at you. Whatever. I've never heard him bad talk anyone. I've just seen him hurt, earn shit the hard way out the mud, never make an excuse for everything. But what and made you he, stop working but, out? But, I love that. Ben. But 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 hold up. Because he was the quiet, <laughs> because he was the quiet, humble dude, his skills didn't pay the bills. I mean, they paid the bills, but you know what I mean. Like a three-time world champion you should be and set. two different weight classes should be living frugal as fuck right now, and his kids should be able to live off of that. I mean, you're talking about three division, I mean, two division world champion, three three time world champion. And we're not talking USBF belts and NBA, but we're talking about the so WBA, your dad the cream of the crop. More. Yeah, definitely. But the thing about it is, he was very humble. He was very quiet. Almost like I said, closed mouths don't get fed. He didn't demand what he earned. So therefore, he Does didn't, that make you want to demand what you earn now? Yeah. It makes yeah. me want me to be the opposite of him. As much as I admire and I love him for the man that he is and the man he taught me to be, he shows I, it made me do and act and and basically try to purposely be the that's, opposite. That's good. Even though, even though we're so much alike, because I'm very calm, I'm very like... But what I'm, stopped I'm you from logical. working out? I'm going to tell you. My, my <laughs> You're senior, not going to tell me. That's why I'm okay. asking you again. All right. So what's up? My senior year... I got forced to watch boxing from the outside. I damaged my ulnar nerve in my elbow, and I broke my knuckle. So two different injuries in the same year. That kept me out for a little bit. So I started watching boxing from the outside rather than being inside the ring, which me watching boxing from the outside was not only watching my people who were on my team at the time, Irvin, Kendrick, Kyrie, Jermaine, all those guys, but watching my dad go from Madison Square Garden in Hard Rock in Florida, and this nice ass venue in Berlin, Germany, to finishing his career in the Palladium and the Lincoln Armory, and like everything dying down. And I just really saw that, like, yo, you could really give your blood, sweat, and tears to this shit, do everything the right way, but it's not guaranteed it pans out. A YouTuber has made more in five fights than my dad's made in his whole career, and my dad fought. Real legit people, world champion. The dude is a YouTuber, not disrespecting Are you talking about him. Jake Paul? Yeah, not does, disrespecting does, him. I respect him. We live in different him. generations. Does Jake Paul, can, why do you think Hold on, is? Jake Paul versus your dad one-on-one. Who are you taking? My Wait. dad will come out of retirement right now and still beat him. Pause. Do you think that as good as your dad was at boxing, does if he didn't succeed the way someone else did like that, like do you think maybe that wasn't his full-on path that was something he loved and maybe he had a different path. No, no, no. Was what it was is he just one of those people that it don't matter what it took, he was never going to switch up. But why, why some people, people told are them, so successful people, some because, people, because, like, because people told him, market yourself more, talk more shit, more this, more that. My dad's like, in the interviews, I love my family, I want to thank God. Like, nobody want to hear that yeah, shit. Yeah, but I, wanna, I feel like... Like, like forgive me, Father. No, but, 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 people, but people don't want to hear that shit. It's just, it, it is what it is. People don't want to hear that shit. They're like, they're like, yo, Jose, who do you want to fight next? He's like, you know, that's just up to Don King. You know, I just want to, you know, take care of my family and pay off my house. I just want to thank God for this opportunity. They're not trying to hear that shit. Yeah, but They want to hear you be like, yo... Shane Mosey, get your ass up up here. Yo, Oscar Del Hoya, stop being a fucking chicken shit. Get the fuck up in this ring right now. They're they, they, they trying to hear that. But right, some people got it. it. Some people don't. You know, okay. And the people who got it yeah, are the ones who are living comfortable. Oh. Because there's people who have nowhere near the accomplishments Everyone of my has, dad living There's richer. enough room, though. And there's enough, uh, there's enough everything, like substance, for everyone to live in abundance. And everybody yeah. to live successful. So why some people are already there, some of us are it's all here, about, and then it's, it's you know it's a mindset. It's sports, a, sports period is no longer it's about wrong. skills. Period. It's about like even NFL, NBA. Like the most marketable guy on the team is actually going to be the more higher paid guy. Like Rob Gronkowski, even though he's one of the greatest tight ends of all time, it's the fact that you could put him on a Dunkin' Donuts commercial. But it's the fact that you could put him purpose. on a on a on a you know. Fashion over commercial, whatever the case may be, that was helping his brand. You know, my dad was just a very quiet, humble individual. And it inspired me to just be like, you know what? Yeah, you know what? This fight might not be worth it. 
But just because I saw clothes, mouths don't get fed, I'm going to fight with you. Just, be, you know, this fight might not be worth it, but I'm just going to let you know you can't disrespect me. You know, my dad was more like, you know, turn the other cheek kind of guy. I'm going to turn the other. No, nah, no, nah, fuck that. I'm going to slap you on that cheek and that cheek for me and for him. Damn. Say that shit, say that shit with your chest. Talking about cheeks, you know. I don't know why we're talking about cheeks. Booty but cheeks. I want to slap the cheeks of McDonald's real quick. I don't know why I said it like that. You like McDonald's? Do you eat McDonald's? Uh, nah, Do you I, I hate McDonald's. McDonald's. Listen, what's going on with the dollar menu and how has this affected your life, guys? It's not affecting my life. You don't eat McDonald's? No, I do sometimes. You don't eat Wendy's? No, I haven't had. You don't eat Burger King? I haven't had Burger King in a while. I had, I had McDonald's the other day, though. But when I do, it's mostly because I'm... I stopped eating fast food in 2008. Hell yeah, no fast food. This guy had nerve be like, yo, what happened to the dollar menu? I was like, the what menu? So the who like, yeah, menu? We're in, group, we're in a group message together. Wait, because they don't have one dollar items no more. No, they're like two twenty five. Because well, yeah, I, yeah. I haven't ate fast food since two thousand eight, and I've been for a while too. Like, yeah. I don't need it. Eighteen or really? eight? I'm like, eight. You took the whole thing. No fast food. That shit's been there for twenty one. Oh, yeah, no, I forgot. Um, I it's, mean, don't get me wrong. Every once in a while, I've eaten Chick Fil A. Okay, no, no, that's I've fast eaten, food. I've, I mean, That's fast food, bro. I, I mean, like, the Burger King, Wendy's, McDonald's. The big names. The big names. Okay. Um, so I, I, I stopped in 2008, and he had sent a picture in the wait. group chat of something, and I was just like, wait, wait, what? That cost... He sent me a picture of fries, and it was like four ninety something. Oh, no, no. Like, it, it wait, was, what? It cost more than the uh, Grizzly. Yeah, I was like, wait, what, what happened to the dollar? He was like, bro, there is no more dollar menu. And I just couldn't believe it. Just that food is mad trash to me. Nah, because have you guys ever have you guys ever wait, spit in a girl's more? mouth? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, how do we go from fast food quick to what you say? Because you went or you did something. I was like, wait, that made, that reminded me. What was you the guys, question? Have you guys ever spit in a girl's mouth? No. Oh, um, no. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Um, there's I have certain triggers. Like, triggers. Triggers. Like, don't touch my face mm -hmm. and don't spit anywhere on me. Mm -hmm. Don't touch so, on that so, dick. So regardless if we're face. into, oh, don't like, like don't I, I don't know. I feel like I'd be. I feel like I'd be like really degrading. I feel like I'd be like really degrading and disrespecting you if I did that to you. So it just it's not even a turn on for me. That's to so good. Do you to like that? Spit on you or in your mouth. That'd be like <laughs> next time. No, I don't. I didn't oh, say anything. Wow. I didn't, didn't say you did. Was, if you ah. like it, I mean, like I said, by all means, you like it. You want some kinky shit. That's you. That's the, I no, I don't know. It just happened once and it was like. In the moment, fine. it was bad? It was oh. fine. Yeah, it was for the moment. Hmm. But it was cool. I don't know. I would never do it again. Were you like drinking stuff or he loogied in your mouth? <laughs> it was a loogie. See, like you, me, bro, you did not just say me spitting in your on your What else is it? Nah, me spitting bro. on your twat Congested is a lot different than me spitting all up in your face or your mouth. Like. I'll spit in your pussy, like. In damn, bro, you in there like that? I wish I could do that. I'm in every <laughs> crease and that. inch. But yours in there. is under seven, so just keep it that way. You're pure. He is actually, believe it or not. I know. He's on like one hand. She believes me. She doesn't, but no, I'm telling you right now. He's we talked on, about earlier. You he's, believe on, me. he's on one hand. I do believe. Yeah, she believes me. If you said that, I do. I don't know why he you lied to me. He hundred percent is. It's not on like one fine. hand. I don't really know you guys, so my I'm not gonna is, judge you. Like I don't know. Haley, Haley said, "Pass the bottle over here." Haley said, "Pass the bottle yeah. over here." Yeah, oh. shot. But her homegirl. Yeah. Oh, Haley's what watching. What time is it? We have time. What time is it? We have time. Wait, Haley's watching. Yeah. How's she watching? Not She's for not. me. To me, she told me. Yo, take she, a shot. Yo, back no, to the podcast. No, Let's get to the conversation. Because I'm, we going to make a song. Did I wrap it? Was that all you guys? Was what? Ooh, that was kind of that was that was. You want to give us a preview me. on camera? Hell nah, bro. <laughs> uh, it's marketing. It's promo You're content. Drop a bar real quick. Nah, bro. All right, I'm gonna go with um. We got Thanksgiving coming up next week. Okay. So I'm just gonna go yeah, something you guys are thankful for. Whoever wants to start. Thankful for this rap. <laughs> for the what? This rap, I'm on This rap, this rap, I'm on. After you, you said that, you, you had to drop a bar. Anything? Where are you nah, guys going? What studio are you guys going to? Real? This is by two. To so two? I think I just like to hear myself. <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, where are you guys recording? I have no idea. She just taking you somewhere? 
Wait, Haley's singing or spitting bars? They're spitting bars, bars but they're rapping. Bars. Uh, nah, this shit's hard as fuck. Oh, For real. Oh, I don't shit. even want to, like, I don't want to show you guys with just me. I don't want to hype it up, like, alone, you know, like, because then it's both of us. Like, that shit goes actually hard, like, for real, I'm not gonna does, lie. Does Haley drop a donut bar or no? No, but she should, right? She I, really should do a little shout out. I, I would. But she didn't. Okay. Nah. I just, I just wanted to know. So no, nobody. nobody. That's a good idea. What well, we're thankful for? Up. Sorry. What are we thankful for? She's thankful for her boys. I am thankful for my niece. Wait, I'm gonna... And I have another niece on the way. <gasps> and I am so happy. I have no goddamn kids in my life. God bless. But I got two nieces. I'm gonna treat them like my own. So. God bless. Um, before you go anywhere, this dude gets a lot of comments um, saying you'll be a bad father. But I'm going to give you your flowers. When you're around kids, man, you're great. Aww, so so nice. I just want to give you your and flowers. And we should get man. matching tattoos now that you have your first one. Oh, oh facts. You do that. You're with that? Oh, you wait. Well, we had 100K. Three way. Pause. 100K? I could do Give that. us a 100k likes. No. No, 100k on yeah, on one of our platforms. Give us a 100k subscribers on one of our platforms and all three of us will get a matching tattoo. What are you going to get? We'll figure it out when that time comes. But am I thankful? What am I thankful? I am thankful. I am thankful for the strong village that I have because it just sometimes it just takes more than yourself. You know, as much as you think you can conquer the world, as much as you think you could do everything on your own, sometimes, man, you know how you like y'all been shitting on me for a while. Like I need to cry, I need to cry, I need to you cry. Cried. Like, I mean, two weeks ago I cried. My dog finally. Died. My dog died. Oh, no boy. way. And Wait, no, that's like actually really hard. And it's no. hard. It's super hard. Everyone's died, dog is dying this he, week. He, he died oh, on my sorry. lap. Nah, I watched my dog get run over, and that was like really traumatizing. My, my, my dog got really me sorry. through the hardest part of my life, like when. So my whole life, all I did was really, like, box, go to school, hang out with family and stuff. And then, like, when I was in college, people, even family that I thought I was, like, super close to, like, there was no check-ins. There's no, like, hey, how you doing? There's no, it's almost like I felt forgotten. And, like, you know, I had gotten out of a really bad, toxic relationship, whatever. And do then, you, you check know, in on people? I just, um, I do now that I'm older. I was, I'm very bad with communication. Like, we could go a month without virtual talking, but like when we see each other, we're gonna it's gonna be like we saw each other yesterday. In the same way, that's I'm good vibes. That's how my but energy is online. So, I, I could not talk to you for six months to a year. But point being, my dog got me through like the hardest part of my life. I snuck him into my college no. place of living, and um, what was his name? Cassius. I used to call him Cash for short. R. But R. He was, Cash. He was a boxer dog, so I named him Cassius after Muhammad Ali, um, wow. and. Uh, he, uh, yeah, no, no, it was, it was good because I feel like in that time period though, I had like between all the medical tests that popped up and everything up, like I'm talking about bread after bread after bread, like all my aunts chipped in to not only cremate him and send his thing back yep. to us in like a plaque, but they got like his paw print in like clay oh, I and his that. paw print in like ink and like it, it was just it was just dope. It was just dope to see the family really care and come together Your like that. And uh, I had a boxer. A boxer. Yeah, he was. He was. Would you ever get a tattoo of the paw? That's what we're doing. Me and my mom are gonna get matched. Yeah, I, I'm paying You're for gonna? it. My brother did that. I'm gonna buy. I'm gonna buy. Man, big. I'm gonna buy me and my. I'm gonna buy me and my mom his uh, paw print that I had put on paper because the clay one. My tattoo artist said he can't do anything with the clay no. one. No, the clay one is like That's in, all I it's have. like indented. So what I did was I had it done on a piece of paper with ink, so he could copy that. Um, so we're, me and my mom will get that. I'm also gonna get his face next to his paw. Um, but yeah, no, nah, I, I I'm thankful for my village. I'm thankful for my the little support system I do have. Um, you know, I got a good crew of friends and people and. Um, like, even tomorrow, you know, for my show, I needed a couple security guards. Let asked me know if I you asked, need another asked, one. Asked one of my boys today. I was like, yo, you trying to work for security for me? He's like, yeah, I got you. Like, you know, I got I got a pretty good village around me. So, I'm thankful for you thankful for, for it, Fidel? Um, what am I thankful for? holiday season. Oh, that's easy for me, man. I'm thankful for um my family, you know. There's another one on the way, so... Um, yeah, it's crazy to 
think, bro, because there's there was three and now there's another one. So that's four. Whole so, football field. Now, so when I look back and I'm like, yo, I, I love this shit. When it comes to family, man, nothing. It's just meant for me, man. I think. Like I always say, I could do nothing in life from here on. As long as I'm the dad I am, I want in life. So I'm thankful for that, and I can't wait to know what it is, meet them. You're having another baby? Yeah. Really? When did you find out? A couple weeks ago, I think. Congratulations. Would you tell your friends if you had a baby? Someone doesn't. What'd you say? Would you tell your friends if you had a baby? Someone doesn't do that. I, I had a plan, but my, my daughter let it out. Oh, so, oh, that's funny, though. Yeah. So, yeah, but now I'm thankful, man. It's it's weird. It's weird, but it's... He's a better man than me, because <laughs> I could never. I'm, re- I'm ready to give my balls yeah. to my doctor. Yeah, yeah bro. Like, no more kids? Like I'm ready to be like... Oh, you have doctor. kids? Take, I have one. I have one kid. My little my little COVID baby. Aw. Um, How old? Three? He's going to be three in February. That's cute. But I'm like really all set. You don't want kids ever again. I mean, the only reason why, because I, I have asked my doctor to just take my nuts. Well, you can you can undo um, it. Yeah, he, he was like trying to convince me not to. <laughs> so like the only reason why I won't is because yes, I'm still young, and if I end up in a relationship with a girl who doesn't have any kids at all do i really want to rip that experience from her no cash cash wanted you to have more that's all i'm gonna say i get another fucking dog bro even though that that experience no is i don't ever want a dog ever again if it's not ramona genuinely like if it's not my dog i if i can't have her back i don't want another one like i just don't is that not normal no, no, I want three. But I, I also don't want kids. I want three, but after the, I've always said I want three dogs at one time, but after the experience last two weeks ago of losing my dog, and it was like mad and unexpected. It was like he was like perfectly like it was, it's a lot to explain. Man, they say they say uh, when you lose something, you gain something more, you know, beautiful. Um, yeah, like, it's you have unexpected. To let go with love. Yeah, so um, we don't know yet, but maybe something's coming, man, for you. Well, think mm-hmm. about it. Another baby. So often, like, Chill we out. have to let go of, like, we're in relationships with different I people. We have friendships. <laughs> and then, like, I can't focus. <laughs> <laughs> <That's laughs> <it, like, bro. laughs> yeah. It is what it is. Okay, so when what was I even talking about? Oh, you have to let go, right, with friendships and, like, relationships. But then it's, like, it's you have to grieve that same pro- you have to process, grieve, yeah, right? Yeah. Grieve but that people, same process. But you sometimes grieve it with anger, whereas like when you lose someone you love, like you still are grieving it. You still have to let go, but you're losing them and you let them go with love. Whereas like when someone's still here physically and you have to let them go, we do it with anger. Why? We should be able to let them yeah, go with I, I love. Think, I think the grief process for my dog took longer than it should have because um, I was too worried about my mom. I was too worried about the other dog. I was too worried about my son. I was, like, worried about other people as opposed to, like, me actually taking in how I feel at this time and place. So it definitely took longer than, like, I was, that was down bad. That's just okay. because I had, not, time. I had not, I had not gave myself that opportunity to just sit there alone and just think about it or even take it in. You know, I was trying to be strong for everybody else except for myself. You have to put yourself first because if you don't, if you're not well yourself, you can't give yourself the best version. That's true. No, your best version to other people around you. Saluski. Oh, damn. She chugged it. Really. <laughs> Thank you, DJ. Uh, are we going to lessons the blessing? Because oh, what? you're DJ? I got one more. Yeah, he's DJ. You guys could have told me that 10, 20, 30 minutes ago. When he's you talk AJ. About DJ. He's the only one in the world. His name is Dominican John. God, where did have a where did Christ. DJ stand for? His name is Dominican John. He's, he's, he's the only one in the world. I thought you were calling someone a DJ or something. He's I don't the only know one in the world. I see the soundboard. I didn't know. Like I don't. Know. He's the only one in the world that calls me DJ. No one calls me that. That's okay. because I'm Big Daddy and he's Little Daddy, and I could do that. No idea what the fuck he's talking about. I got one more question for the boys. Big no. Jilly for, for the boys. Listen, you out in public with a shorty. Oh, man. With a shorty, oh, might not be your shorty, might be your shorty. Okay. It is Are you guys disappointed if another man comes and asks for her number? Ooh. Nah. 
<laughs> nah and yeah. So there's a couple things. How am I coming off as a man that made this man feel comfortable to think that this girl's not mm. with me? Like you must think I'm a sucker, mm. so I might have to check myself first. But if I know if I'm comfortable with myself, like nah, I'm over here on some like this my I'm a stab how is she presenting herself? Check yourself before you How is she yourself. presenting either how is she presenting herself? And if she was fine the whole night, for me it wouldn't be how is she presenting herself. It would be like, damn, how is this girl's past? Still made this. Oh, do you think she was up. maybe giving him a little look on the side or something? Like, why or, would he or, feel? Or what, whatever the fuck it was that made this motherfucker feel confident in coming up to this girl while I'm with her. Give him a lot of respect though, because he has a lot of balls to do that. And like, that's you think like, so? Pff, yeah, to do that, like, that's crazy. Because I always talk like, what if you're just with a group of cousins and and the guy just realizes that you're. Are you a family yeah, member? I don't think I don't think he has or gay. You is can it? tell though. You can no, tell like some, nah, if someone's, a, it depends. It depends. Yeah, because there's yeah. some guys that would just do it just to fuck around, you know, yeah. and just to like give you a, a hard time. How would you feel? Actually, I think he said it perfect. Again, that's two times AJ said. Hey, you said some two things well today that I was like, um, yeah, oh, bro. Oh, do you have a, like around? In my a opinion, I, I have a a thing. Even if it's like just a friend, like you have enough respect for me not Seriously. to like Seriously. hit on. Yeah. Dudes, while you're chilling with me, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is a me and you time. Whether we're dating or not, it's just like, don't be out here, like, getting numbers and flirting with a dude for 10, 15 minutes. And you think I'm just going to stand there. You know, I got things to do. Feel me? So um, I uh, feel that. What about for women? If How does that work? Oh, oh if a girl women, comes yeah. up to a guy, do you feel ugly? Do you feel disrespected? Well, do it you... depends who the guy is to me, honestly. And if that's my man, I'm a, I'm a checker. If it's not my man... Then I'm a hyper up and I'm what a if, give. What if, what if we're in the talking phase? What if we're in the talking phase, potentially okay. going to dating? Oh. We go out to a bar together. But like you never know. Oh, no, no. We're in the talking phase. We're not dating yet, but we're almost dating. We're like quite there. Just haven't made it official. We go out to a bar or a club together to and there's a few oh. shorties it happened, it happened. coming up to man's, you know, giving them some love. This happened to me where I was Random sitting hot. at a bar. Okay, so I was sitting at a bar. And Does the bar count though? I mean, we were sitting at the bar. Again, exactly. So it's like you never know. Mm -hmm. So, so it's give us a So this girl like asked me if that was my man. I was like, nah, he's not like my man. But did you we fuck up right together. there? But I was like, <laughs> if you like, that wasn't actually like we're not dating. Like we're in that's what I'm saying. So if if, up. if we're like, just you talking, you gave her the green light. You said no, well, that's yeah, not of course. my man. I like, said that's not my man. You should if have you enough want, respect. If you want to no, because if that's his decision, I'm not next? gonna fuck what that up for next? him. So I said, We're if you date. want his like, if you mm -hmm. want his number, like, I'll let him know. Because he was he went to the bathroom. I was like, nah, but that's not my man. But like, we're together right now, so like, you know, like. <laughs> Did she get the number or not? Nah. nah. That's not how it works. Because you say that's not my man. <laughs> well, because after, after no, okay, yeah, so it's, 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 it's and you're about to put me on. Like, bro, it's a circumstance. You literally just said you're in the way. Like, you literally just said you're gonna put me on. If, so if I'm gonna say like, I'm gonna take it, bro. I don't know because you know when you got a sneaky link. Let's just leave it flat. You got a little sneaky. Yeah, but if you're talking right? to a stranger, you can say and that's your like, man. You know what it is? It's not my man. But like, bro, you do what you want when I'm not around because I, I'm not like I don't know. I don't want to block sneaky your link. blessings. Just here for the thotty slang. Like <laughs> sneaky links is a definition for just like friends. On the thing. But yo, sneaky links bro, is is a definition for like friends and family at home to not know you have a sneaky link. But if you're out in public that's and a random knows. person, no, but if a random person asks you, that's your right man? Now. That's reckless to be out in public. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say. That's very nice. But I'm you saying. You for a reason. Yeah. We're not supposed to be. 100%. I guess, but you should at least say, yeah, that's mine oh, for the no, night. Oh, no, I'm wrecked. You know what I'm saying? You should at least say that's mine for the night. You're not, you're not claiming the shorty for that. I ain't claiming seconds. you at all. We friends, bro. We, that's my boy in public we, we because get, I'm not getting get caught drinks. lacking like that. We like, can, I'm not all lovey-dovey. We get drinks at the crib and shit like that, but us being at the bar if we're sneaky nah. things, like, Well, we're in another that's state. That's what you first fucked we're up. We're in another state. But that's what I'm saying. What about that's for y'all? You're not going to claim the girl for 10 seconds if a dude's asking for her number? If she's my sneaky link? Absolutely not. You go to a, you go to a different You're not state. claiming? You don't know nobody. So you're letting me get her number? If she's my sneaky link, yeah, and yes. I see you out in public, and you're like, yo, that's your girl? Nah, bet. Nah. Let me slide. Go and we're both think, fucking. Wait, 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 why? Are you taking a sneaky link uh, serious? It doesn't matter what it is, I'm bro. I'm going to tell you why. If, you, I if I see you at 7-Eleven for I'm the two seconds that you're grabbing snacks, right. motherfucker, I'm you don't have you to why be at the movie theaters. I think it's healthy for guys. Maybe not for girls, but for guys. because Why? Why you, guys and not girls? It was healthy for me, too, and I liked it. If you fucked your sneaky link more than... A certain amount of times, 
Chances are she's feeling you and waiting for you to become her not. What's, what's the like, number? What's the magic number? Seven. I don't know. If you, got that, if you got that, if you got that, beat your thoughts. So it could be after the first time. Eat that little thing up, lay it on her, and now she's in love. You never know. But my point is, she no. might be taking a headache off your hands. You could. Yes, if you're exactly, just my sneaky like, link, bro. By all means, go do your thing. But you're passing no the sneaky link to me. No limitations. Huh? You're passing the sneaky link to me. Absolutely. Okay. Because chances are, sneaky chances are, this sneaky link hasn't been hit once, twice, three times. Like it's been multiple. So at this point, she probably has feelings. She's just not moving on them because she's the sneaky link. So you if another sucker? dude comes through and swoops hold it. On, hold on, hold on, hold on. What's fine. what's what's the upgrade from a sneaky link? Would you wife up a sneaky link? What's the upgrade? No, hold on. let's you go to the first upgrade. From sneaky link. Yeah, like what's that upgrade? From sneaky link to talking. The talking. That's the upgrade. That's the upgrade. What you? I can't upgrade. Would Talk I? to a sneaky link and yeah. then date them and then what? Do I you mean, see if you was like, no, 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 no. if you was a sneaky link, if you was a sneaky link in a good wholesome relationship, no. If you was a sneaky link in like maybe like an abusive in a respectful way though, like a, no. no, no, no. If you was a sneaky link in like an abusive relationship well, or like you, the dude treat like shit, then then maybe I would. What is a Why sneaky link? I just like to call it sneaky link because it sounds fun, but like. It's not really sneaky. It just is what it is, you know? Like, it's not like... No, sneaky link is you come in at 2 o'clock in the morning and there's no dates, there's no going out, there's no public activities. Okay, yeah. Then you just fuck and watch link. Netflix. Yeah. And you go home, no sleeping over. Nah, sometimes, like sometimes that not have you. <laughs> Fall asleep in that thing. <laughs> but if you're giving me sneaky link <laughs> energy, thing. I can't give you wifey energy. No, not, shouldn't. But, yeah. but he just said if you, he will upgrade to talking. No, I see. said I have to upgrade. But you have to know who to give away. No just like men, like you know, like you can read it, right? You read the we as women know who to give. If you, bro, I'm not gonna give my wifey self. I cook, I clean, I fucking provide. But I'm not gonna give that to a bum. Like I'm not gonna give that to someone that's not respecting me and giving me what I need. But that's what I'm saying. Anybody me, give me sneaky link energy is a much, bum. Yeah, but just as much as like sex. I'm single. I'm alone. I don't. I'm focused, but I need a little sneaky link here and there. And I like to have the same consistent person, so I'm not sleeping around. But like to have a nice little sneaky link, it's that's needed. Yeah. Like yeah. I like sex just as much as everyone else, and I don't care to admit that shit. There's sneaky link for a reason. So I'm thinking you have multiple sneaky links, and I'm like, this is a nah. sneaky link. No. It's just like I have one sneaky. No link. what? Like, I like that no, one. Do you know her sneaky. whole life? No, I think you, got, you got a private this, inspector. This guy don't come be like your ass general question. Then he like. But one no, on like one? think about it. Like no. DJ, you're I not like no, you're, 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 you're not experienced enough to have that like real true. Um, Bro, I got sneaky link the, text the, messages. The, I just the, don't follow right, through with the sneaky link. I'm loyal to my sneaky But that's what I'm saying. You're not experienced enough to really like. Understand, like, nah, bro, to you? some sneaky links are I just mean, friends. Not. They could really just be your homie or nah, homegirl, whatever. Real. Like, and 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 you do what you do, and it is what it is. But you know, at the end of the day, adults with needs are adults with needs. That's one hundred percent. So, all my friends out there, if you want to be sneaky links, <laughs> oh, hit up DJ. I love that link. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions? Call it a day. Oh, lessons of blessings. blessings. Are we going to lessons of blessings, or are we just sticking with the thankful? Hey guys! No, that's not the best. You gonna skip? That's oh, the best. You got something? I feel like you want to say something. No, guys. I just want to say I'm thankful for you guys. I didn't say what I was thankful for, so I'm gonna be bossy. I'm gonna be assertive and tell you guys, as a woman, I'm thankful for you guys for helping me, like just be, not helping me, welcoming me onto your podcast, and just you know letting me be here with you guys. And, and we're gonna yeah, we're gonna reverse really and we're thankful shit, for, for you for joining us for this episode. I love that. Lessons of blessings. Lessons of blessings. So great to really but I don't know. We're going lessons of blessings. This is how we ended. Lessons of blessing is a lesson or a blessing that happened this week to you. Recently. This week. On the block. A lesson. Or a blessing. Lesson or a blessing. Or both. Yeah. That happened this week. This week. If you don't got one, you can start on that side if you want. Yeah, start on over there. AJ, start it up. I got one for you. What was mine? I said I was thankful. Oh, mine. Yeah. No, yeah lesson or blessing. Know, not thankful. I don't know what you're thinking about, but my lesson or a blessing was. What were you thinking? What are you thinking? What the fuck are y'all talking about? about? Oh, I was thinking you going to the gym after you cried. Yeah, that was what oh, I was thinking. Did. Oh, <laughs> shit. Okay, yeah. Did you even I say a word? I pushed myself. That was crazy. Oh, energy, Telepathy energy was crazy, real. right? That was real. No. My energy's ass. That was good because I am. And I showed up for myself and shout out to my girl, Deandra, because if she didn't push me and say what she said, then I wouldn't be there. But I showed up and... I had a two, probably two and a half hour session after I cried for seven straight hours. Like, that's like, not good. That's like, 
I could be better. Is that that is, is, that is that a, not even like sad. That's is that just the like most, humiliating. Is that the most you cried in a day? <laughs> Probably not. Okay. <laughs> I've been through a lot, so no. But I don't know. I like to cry. Not like I like to cry, but like it helps, it helps. me let go, you know? It helps me release. That's how I. And people get scared of crying, but like normalize crying. That's how I release. Like that's how. I normalize it. But yeah, I'm thankful that I had that discipline, pushed myself, and showed up for myself. And. Now I'm here. And Love it. Gonna make a little songy song after this shit. <laughs> my lesson of the week is, um, Fidel said it earlier, you know, I'm great with kids. My comments and my videos and what I do on a daily basis have nothing to do with how I'm going to be as a father in the future. But you don't have to start your own family. If people have kids around you, they could be your kids too. I love that. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to go with blessing. Like Not nah, baby mama vibes. <laughs> Wrong conversation. <laughs> Took that completely off. That's hey, not what I'm talking about. Dude, that not like, those kids. Wait, that's you not, need a baby mama? Hell no. You don't not those kids. kids. Not those kids. That sounds like you could manage. Yeah, that's why I was like, that sounds like you could manage at least five. He's changing his dude. The Grinch didn't steal Christmas this year. What a, what a lot of women like. The women like baby daddies. The men like baby mamas. We don't. I don't. I speak for all. All, all men. Men. Okay. We we don't we don't do that. Um, I think women like baby daddies more than men. You don't even have your mic, so I'm going to go with my, my lessons. Oh, yeah, the camera's about to die. La, la, my, I'm going to go with blessing this week. Um, I'm starting to I have a lot going on, but it's beautiful that I have a lot going on. Like, I have uh, this Saturday, I had a couple events to that I got invited to, and then I got. Um, but one thing is, I'm never going to change who I am for a little bit of fame, you know? So I'm big on loyalty and. I'll be on my man show. Hell yeah. Drop the mic. That's you. He said he already talked about thankful, but that wasn't what we were doing. That was my blessing. Let's Let's say say it again. For this week. I I was thankful, but my blessing was for my village. I'm blessed to have a village. I'm blessed to have people around me that stepped up in my time on need. This specific week. Oh, this specific week? I mean. Dial in. He knows what the fuck he's supposed to do. Boy, come on. All right. I'm thankful. (laughs) <laughs> this week, <laughs> we end it like I'm that. Thankful this week. 